I sold my soul today. Yeah. Uh, I was at work and I was arguing with this guy about vampires and werewolves. And then, you know, there was something said about vampires not having souls. And I said, no one has souls. They're not a real thing. They don't exist. And that got into a whole argument about, like, heaven and hell and whether or not they're real. And he was like, if you truly believe that there is no afterlife, then write your name, then write down on this piece of paper, I sell my soul to the devil. So you know what? I grabbed the pen, of paper, and I grabbed the pen, and I wrote, I hereby sell my soul to the devil with Slim as my witness, and then I signed my name. And then, I get, and then I gave him the piece of paper. It was one of those transparency papers. There was a white one and then the yellow one under it. I gave him the white one, kept the yellow one for myself. But then I gave that to another guy that was just walking by, past. And he was like, ha ha, so hilarious. So, anyways, yeah. If it turns out that I am wrong and the devil comes to get me, oh well, my own butt part. I wasn't getting into heaven anyways. At least I know I'm going somewhere instead of just staying here after the rapture. Because after seeing this at the end, I just don't think I'd enjoy that. At least I have a place working for the devil. So, either way, I'm secure. This episode is brought to you by Strimson's Water. It's just the water. You have to bring your own cup or bottle, and they charge you per drop. If she doesn't remember what time Usher was cruising in his drop top, she's too young for you. If she doesn't know that you put the lime in the coconut, she's too damn young for you. If something strange is in your neighborhood and she doesn't know who you're going to call, she's too young for you. If she doesn't remember who killed Mufasa, actually now that I think about it, that's, that's just something wrong with you. Because like anything above the age of three, you should have seen The Lion King already. I mean, how the hell do you not know that? I killed Mufasa! This is a video to help prevent you from becoming a pedophile. Accidentally, at least. If you're gonna do it on purpose, I don't really know how to help you. I know that your powers of retention are as wet as a warthog's backside. But thick as you are, pay attention. My words are a matter of pride. It's clear from your vacant expression the lights are not all on upstairs. But we're talking kings and succession. Even you cannot be caught unawares. So prepare for the chance of a lifetime. Be prepared for sensational news. A shiny new era is tiptoeing nearer. And where do we feature? Just listen to teacher. I know it sounds sordid, but you'll be rewarded when at last I am given my due. Yes, injustice deliciously squared. Be prepared. Yeah, we'll be prepared. <laughs> prepared for what? For the death of the king. Why, is he sick? No, fool, we're going to kill him. And Simba too. Great idea, who needs a king? No king, no king, la 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 la. Idiots, there will be a king. Hey, but you said I will be king. Stick with me, and you'll never go hungry again! Hey, hey, alright! Long live the king! 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 The great that will soon be connected With a king who'll be your time adored Of course, quick pro quo, you're expecting To take certain duties are born the future is littered with prizes And though I'm the main addressee The point that I must emphasize is You won't get a sniff without me So prepare for the coup of the century Be prepared for the murkiest scam 
meticulous planning, tenacity spanning, decades of denial is simply wild. Be king undisputed, respected, saluted, and seen for the wonder I am. Yes, my teeth and ambitions are bared. Be prepared. Yes, our teeth and ambitions are bared. Be prepared.